So you're having a barbecue and you want to have some fun desserts on the table. Everybody loves cakes and brownies, but they're loaded with fat and calories. Just look at this brownie. It has 290 calories and 17 grams of fat. So how can we do better? We have Chris Leahy from VLT Prime in New York City here to give us some good ideas for healthy options. So Chris, what, what can we cook to satisfy our sweet tooth? Well, what I enjoy most about barbecuing is the summer. And what that means is that you have beautiful fruit. And so I like to make a little mixture of grilled fruit and make it just like a nice fruit salad. Oh, wow. So what we have today is that we are going to take some of our beautiful peaches. Okay. okay and then a really easy way to take out the pits is that you kind of just follow along the edge here. Okay. Twist it in half. Okay. And it comes right out. Great. Then from this, you would just take a half of this peach and then kind of put it right on your grill. Excellent. On the other side, you want to cut out the pit, and then... And you're leaving the skin on then? And we're leaving the skin on. Okay, that's great because so much of the nutrition is actually in the skin, and peaches are a great source of vitamins A and C. What we're also going to do is we're going to take some slices of watermelon, pretty thickly sliced, okay. um, and we're going to put these on the grill. Wow, what a great idea. We're going to put those on for about uh, four minutes per side. Okay, great. And watermelon is another great choice for a healthy dessert at your barbecue because it's very high in vitamin A, but it's also really high in water content, so you can have a lot. It's very filling and it gives you very, very few calories. Now, for our salad, we're just going to make a simple dressing that consists of balsamic and honey. Oh, okay. Now, if you don't want to use too much honey because of the sugar content. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our balsamic, and you want to make sure that that's a balsamic vinegar, not a vinaigrette, because whenever something becomes a vinaigrette, that means that they've added oil to it. So we just add a little bit of honey here, just to help out with the acidity level in the balsamic itself. You want to mix that beforehand. Okay. And then, yes, we have right here, we have some beautiful, little, nice little blueberries. Okay. And we have some nice blackberries. Great. Berries are a great source of all different kinds of antioxidants and fiber as well. And they just make the dish look beautiful. We're going to take some of our beautifully grilled peaches. And how long did you have the peaches on the grill for? Um, the peaches, the time is more of how they look. And then we're going to take some of our grilled watermelon here, just kind of cut them into smaller chunks. So we add our diced watermelon. Again, it's pretty warm. Should you have it warm or do you want Yes. It? Uh -huh. You want it to be warm so that way when it mixes with the vinegar, uh -huh. it'll actually absorb a lot of the flavor. Oh, okay. okay. And then we're going to add a little bit of chiffonade mint, which is just finely sliced mint. And then the last little trick is half of a lemon. Just remove uh -huh. the seeds. And what the lemon will do is help bring out the brightness in the balsamic itself. And then all we're going to do is just fold it together nicely. Then all you do, kind of serve it up like this. And then of course, make it look real pretty. But just some fresh pieces of mint. These are great. Let's take a look at how they stack up, though, against our traditional desserts. As we mentioned before, these brownies packed in 290 calories and 17 grams of fat. But Chris's amazing grilled fruit only has 110 calories and a half a gram of fat for a one cup portion. Chris, thank you so much for bringing this to our table. My pleasure. Keep checking back for more segments for staying healthy in the kitchen or in the backyard.